Good morning, everyone. Welcome to week two of our summer services. It's so lovely to have all these different faces on screen with us this morning. Um, as you know, um, the theme this year for our summer services are Let's Eat. It's all about hospitality. So each week we work on different meals in the Bible. So this week's summer service will be led by Richard, Ola, Sheila, Sarah and Reverend Margaret. And we're so excited to be able to worship in this way this morning together. Um, I'm now gonna hand over to Reverend Margaret who's gonna lead us in our theme song. Good morning, everybody. And uh, this week we're going to sing verse one, which should be the same every week, which you may remember, he lifts me up to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. And we have the actions which are he lifts me up to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. And then that repeats a few times, doesn't it? And then we've got a second verse today, which is a real challenge to do the actions. So I'll tell you the words first. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. So watch carefully for the actions. I hope I get them right. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. So that's a lot to remember and the team are gonna do their best to help me with this as we sing together. So let's begin with verse one. Here we go. He lifts me up to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. He lifts me up to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. He lifts me up to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Oh, well done everybody. That was fantastic. Very synchronized. <laughs> now I'm going to hand over to Richard for the next part of the service. Yes, good morning everyone and um, greetings to you all. I hope everyone's doing well in these current conditions and I pray that God's been blessing you continuously with his presence. Um, this start, I'll start today's service, um, or my part of it, um, by lighting the candle to prepare ourselves for our memory verse. It's to give ourselves a moment of silence as we prepare ourselves for this service. Um, for our call to worship this week, I've chosen um, Psalm 23, which um, is familiar to all of us, I'm sure, and is definitely one of my favorite psalms to remember from the time I was a child, actually. So I think it's most appropriate for me to, to use that today. Um, and so, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside quiet waters, he restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Each week, as we think about our hospitality theme, um, we are preparing our table for a special meal on each occasion. Um, so let's take a look at what the table looks like now. Um, okay, uh, so far we've got the candle nicely burning. Um, and I wonder what this week's um, addition will be. I think it's an item. Um, has anyone got any idea what it might be? No? No guesses? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we've got a napkin to add to our table. And each week we'll um, add another item until the table is fully prepared for our special meal. Um, and as, as you know, um, each summer service, we, we have our, our memory verse, um, something that I'm notorious um, with generally, but um, we've been most fortunate on this occasion uh, because our memory verse is the best. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think we should all get this one with no trouble at all. Um, so without further ado, here we go. Um, can we say this together a couple of times before we start to take um, take it away gradually, as you remember? Um, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Matthew 7, verse 1. All together again. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Matthew 7, verse 1. Okay, can we remove some of it, please? Okay. Well, here we go. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Matthew 7, verse 1. One more time, please. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Matthew 7, verse 1. Okay, let's go for it. I think we should have. Oh, and here we go. All together. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Matthew 7, verse Verse one. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you've all got it. Um, so, um, before I hand over um, to Sarah um, for our reading, um, shall we share um, the piece with you? Um, sign. I can remember. Shall we do it together? Peace with you. One more time. Peace with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you all. And I'll now hand over to Sarah, um, who will bring us all reading. Sarah? Thank you, Richard. The reading to good morning, everybody. The reading today is taken from Luke verse 19, sorry, Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. Zacchaeus the tax collector. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was. But being a short man, he could not, he could not, because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this, 
and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. This is the word of the Lord. And now we'll hand, I'll hand, we'll hand over to Sheila for her message today. Thank you, Sarah. And hello, everyone. Lovely to see you all today. It's a great story, isn't it? Thinking about our summer service theme of Let's Eat and that story, I've been wondering, what if Perry Risers were the people that were in that crowd? Would we say, yes, let's all eat together? if only to enjoy some fantastically good food from wealthy Zacchaeus, or would we shun him? Well, Jesus invited himself to Zacchaeus's house. Unheard of. Terrible, thought the crowd. Why was that? Well, Zacchaeus was a dishonest, cheating man. He took more money from people than he should just to make himself rich. The religious leaders and the crowd, they didn't want anything to do with people like Zacchaeus. They are sinners. We are good. They thought Jesus was a good man and he would be like them and not want anything to do with Zacchaeus. But how wrong they were. Jesus assessed the situation and he knew that his heavenly father is compassionate, good, merciful, forgiving. And so Jesus acted with mercy. He urgently called Zacchaeus down from the tree. Come on, Zacchaeus, we're going to eat together. What a shock for Zacchaeus. That was the last thing he expected. He was only curious about this amazing man, Jesus, and now they were going to wine and dine and enjoy each other's company. Unbelievable. But you know what? The impossible is possible with Jesus. Zacchaeus realized that Jesus didn't judge him the way others did. He felt genuine kindness and love in the way that Jesus treated him. And this pricked Zacchaeus's conscience. He felt sorry for cheating people and he offered to put things right by giving back even more money than he had stolen from them. Basically, he seemed to be asking for forgiveness for the wrong things he had done. It's fantastic to know that Jesus knew exactly what the crowd was thinking. He knew what they wanted, but he didn't go along with them. The way the crowd judged Zacchaeus left him feeling isolated, demeaned, ashamed, criticized, and condemned. Did this really make the crowd feel better? If we judge others and put them down, we may feel good for a little while, but I think later on, we might not feel so good. The way Jesus treated Zacchaeus left him feeling valued, accepted, included. He was honoured that such a popular man as Jesus, a good man, wanted 
to be with him. Friendship was even possible. Zacchaeus was therefore confident to talk with Jesus about his feelings and try to do the right thing to make things better. Zacchaeus started a relationship with Jesus. Zacchaeus had done wrong. Jesus knew it. We all do wrong. But he treated Zacchaeus as a precious child of God, as we all are. When we deal with people who have done wrong or are different in some way to us, how will we behave? Will we behave like the crowd or will we behave like Jesus? Will we judge and condemn or assess the situation and behave with love? My prayer for us all is that we may behave like Jesus, not judge and condemn, but act with mercy, kindness and love. If we follow Jesus's example, we can all, as God's precious children, sit down together and eat. And now I'd like to hand over to Ola for, to lead us in a time of prayer. Thank you, Sheila. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Mighty and everlasting God, we thank you for such a time in your presence. We thank you because you are our God. We thank you because you love us, even in spite of our flaws. We thank you because you never count us out. We thank you, O oh Lord, because your hand holds us up. Father, we pray today that like you called and invited yourself even into the house of Zacchaeus, it is our prayer that you would invite yourself into our lives, that you would invite yourself into our homes. And we pray, oh God, that you will prepare our hearts even to receive you. We thank you, Father, Lord God Almighty, because your love is so everlasting. Your love is precious. We are blessed to be recipients of your love. Mighty Father, we just ask, oh God, that even at this time, when the whole world is so confused, we ask, oh God, that your love will permeate the whole world. Your love, oh God, will come and restore everything that has been destroyed. Father, we pray also that we will have a heart like Jesus, who is always willing to receive everyone. Help us, oh God, not to judge others, because even us, the best of us, are forgiven sinners. We thank you, Father, because your love upholds us. Help us, Father, to love you more. Help us, Lord, to seek you more. And today, I pray, Father, that as many as do not know you, we pray, O oh God, that their hearts will be open even to receive you at this very minute. Father, let your word go and open every door. Let your word go ahead and soften every heart, every heart, Father Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We exalt you. We give you all the glory for this we have asked in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now I'll hand you over again to Jade. Thank you, Allah. Thank you. Thanks be to God. As we um, come to the end of our service, 
today. We normally each week we're going to do a challenge at the end of each week. So this week's challenge to you all would be to pray for your neighborhood or pray for your community. You don't have to physically go out there and stand on the road. You could literally just look through your window and just watch as people go by in cars or by foot and just pray for them. We want to just spread the joy of Jesus into our communities, into our neighborhoods. So that'll be your challenge for this week, to pray for your neighborhood. And if you do want to reach out and speak with people in your neighborhood, then so be it. This is the joy of Christ. And we just want to share that with everyone. So thank you everyone for joining in with our summer service this week and let us now just share in the grace together may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all forevermore amen amen